Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I'm not in my kitchen right now. I'm doing a burger today based on my hometown, which is basically full of old people. In fact, look, there's one right now, walking right past my car. Look, he's just enjoying his day. That's what they do, they just walk past all day. My hometown is filled with old people, uh, yeah. So I live in this seaside town called Western Super Mare, aka Western Super Mud, because the sea is normally brown, but as you can see by that, see that? It's like David Hasselhoff in his uh, truck going past there, but in the background there is sea and it's actually looking blue. And right in the background is also Wales. We've got like a pier here, we've got a uh, sea life centre, which uh, you can probably just see around the corner there. But the sea life centre is rubbish, you know, they don't have any sharks there, it's just kind of like goldfish and stuff. But anyhow, good things happen here. Uh, Roald Dahl grew up here, the guy that um, came up with uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, John Cleese from Monty Python. So we need to do a recipe to salute my hometown. We are going to do a Western Super Burger. Wow, check out that light, that's kind of cool. Anyhow, uh, yeah, we're going to get back to the kitchen, make it, and hopefully you'll make it, and take a little piece of Western to your kitchen. That was cheesy. Okay, so we are back in the kitchen. To sum up a Western Super Burger, we are basically going to grab a pineapple ring and shove it inside a beef burger and then cook it with all the usual trimmings and a mayonnaise sweet chilli sauce. Should be good. Uh, basically, I've got a griddle pan there nice and hot and I'm going to pick up some pineapple rings now and just put them straight on there because we need to griddle these pineapples, get them all nice funky and I'm going to cool them down. I'm going to caramelise it. It's going to be cool. Then I'm going to stuff it in our meat. It's going to be so good, baby. You're going to love it. Here are the ingredients. Hit pause on the video and write them all down. It's going well already. Yeah. Okay, so that's been four minutes on those pineapple rings. Let's just flip them over. Oh yeah! Check out those lines, that is what we're after. Do it to the next one. Loving it. Okay, so do it. About four minutes the other side. Take them off, let them cool down, and then we'll move on. Yeah. Okay, Jackie, then our pineapple rings are done like that. Funky lines on it. Give it a little smell if you like. Optional. Yeah, smells alright. Let it cool down completely, like so. Just on the plate. That's it. That's how you let it cool down. You don't blow it. You can go. Oh. Like that, you could if you wanted, but you don't really need to do that. So what we're going to do is quickly make our sauce and then we'll start to build up these burgers, baby. Yes! Yeah. Okay, so to make the sauce, we're just going to grab ourselves a mixing bowl. Okay, so two tablespoons of mayonnaise, in like that. And the equivalent amount in sweet chilli sauce. So another two tablespoons there, just pour that on like that. That is all good. And last, but not least, we need to add some onions on there to give it a little bit of a bite. Yeah. So this is about two teaspoons of chopped onion, so just, just chuck that in there like that, it's all good. Just grab yourself a wooden spoon and stir it all around. Okay, so I'm just going to stir this through, check this out, a bit of a colour change there. The sweet chilli, if you bought a stronger one, the mayonnaise will sort of make it a little calmer. We're going for this sort of like subtle colour like this, and it's going to have that little chunkiness of the onions in there as well, you're going to love it. Okay, so once you've finished stirring it through and you feel like you're happy with it, have a little quick taste. Ooh, yeah. That is just right. Obviously, if you want a bit more of a chilli kick, add more chilli sauce, calm it down with some mayonnaise, or sweeten it up with maybe a little bit of sugar. All good. That, my friends, I'm happy with that. Right, here then, the pineapple rings are sat there, they're chilling out, and if you excuse the pun, they are cooling down, the chilling cool thing didn't kind of work there. No. Uh, our sauce is there, there we go, it's all there, just sat there waiting. Sort of, please, spread me on something. And the meat is here, it's in the bowl, and it's ready. That was from a supermarket, if you can get it from a butcher's, even better, because it tends to taste a little bit better. But what we're going to do is wash our hands, we're going to move the meat around and start to make our patties, I think you're going to like this bit. Once we're done touching the meat, wash your hands with soap, and remember, when you're touching the meat, don't go like this and... So, yeah, because that's bad and you'll blame me for it. Okay, so let's make the burgers. Okay, folks, some meat is in that bowl. I'm just going to give it a little season with some ground black pepper. And now I'm going to get my hands in there and break it in, mix that pepper in, and just really attack that meat. Okay, so I'm happy with my meat. What I'm going to do now is bring in this chopping board with a layer of cling film on it, which fits the board. What we're going to do, put our meat on top like that and try and squish it down. You might want to work it with your hands. You can even get a rolling pin with another bit of cling film on top if you want. You want to push these out, get them nice and thin, okay? Try and get them sort of to fit the chopping board as well if you can. Yeah, look at that, red on red action. Diggity. Okay, so I've got my meat nice and flat. It actually ended up going to more of like a circular shape, like a pizza thing, but it's all good. So here, with my tongs, I'm going to put a pineapple ring near the edge if I can. Not right up against it, just push it in a little bit so you've got a little bit of meat there. What I'm going to do is cut like a little square like that and you'll see what we do next. 
Wicked. So I've just done a little outline around my pineapple like that. What we need to do now is grab your knife again and cut a very similar shape, which you're just going to plonk on top. So I'm just going to go straight down there with my meat. I'm going to sit it on top to make the patty. Watch this. Okay, so I've just cut my second square. And what I'm going to do is just hang it straight on top of the pineapple ring like that. And what you want to do is ensure you've got a teeny bit of overhang both on the bottom and the top. So then what you can do is pinch your fingers together and I'll just show you roughly. You can sort of work your way around and seal up the gaps. It's kind of like Play-Doh, okay? So you're building that burger meat all around your pineapple. Okay then folks, so I've done my first one. I've sealed it all around the edge. Feels quite heavy, but that's mainly the pineapple ring. The actual meat layer itself is pretty thin and that's what you're after to ensure that it cooks all the way through. So we've got some more meat. Let's make another one. Wicked. Super duper, that is looking good. All we're going to do is drape over some more cling film. You could use grease proof paper as well if you want and just sort of tap that down. And what we're going to do is put them in the fridge now for about 20 minutes just to get them all nice and cool and set. Keep them in that shape, ready for cooking any minute now. Whoa! Okay, so the burgers are doing their thing and you're probably wondering, Barry, what are you having with them? But well, basically, you've seen me make fries slash wedges loads of times before. Doing the same, just cut them a little thinner, you know, kind of like the French fry styles. Season them in a little pepper. They're going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes because they're so thin. That's it. But if you want to see how I've made them before, go watch the how-to video on it. Really simple and uh, this is all about the burger, baby. <laughs> Right folks, so we're coming to the end of the recipe and we just need this one pan to help us finish it off. It's over a low flame at the moment, getting nice and warm. So we're going to use it to cook our burgers, but before that, why don't we just cut our buns in half and just toast them on there like that. I don't normally like toasting buns, but you guys sort of uh, have a big go at me if I don't do it. So uh, I'm just going to do it to make you guys feel good. Okay, so I toasted my buns and all of a sudden in the background I heard a ah! And it was this little monster. Hodja, 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 hodja. How could someone so small make such a big noise? Uh, she woke up, so I've uh, got Rocker to sleep, and then we'll carry on making the burgers. Right, dude? High five. Never mind. Right here, so Chloe's asleep. It only took 10 minutes. When they're that young, they just go boom, like that. And if you want to watch at the end with the bloopers, her sneezing on me, yeah, stick by it, and that will come up soon. Anyhow, keeping the pan that we toasted our buns with nice and hot, like so, I've taken the patties off like that, and in fact, I've got one on a fish slice like this. I'm just going to... Get it on, like that. Get it on on top as well. Chuching. Cook it through. And then we're cooking. Okay, so it's only been two minutes and it's really hard to imagine that there's actually a pineapple ring just sat inside it going, what is going on? Anyhow, I've got some blocks of cheese here. What I'm going to do, once I've flipped it once, I'm going to sprinkle those on the top to melt it. Give it a nice cheeseburger finish. And then we've got the standard tomato, lettuce, and a sauce to build up our buns with the baps that are there. You are. Okay folks, so I flipped my burgers, nice brownie finish on the top, and I'm just adding a couple of slithers of cheese on the top, just to melt it, droop it all over there. Loving it, baby. Okay, then, guys, that's been five minutes, and the cheese is all melted, I like so. I made a little incision down there, just to make sure. Don't want any red meat in there, guys. You do not want a medium rare burger. Cook it all the way through. Let's serve it up. Western Super Burger, baby. Yeah. Okay, so to make the burger, I've grabbed up a plate and a base. I'm going to spread some sauce on that to lubricate it. Okay, so just about a wooden spoon's amount there. Just put it on there and just work it around. You don't want to overdo it with the sauce. Slice of tomato, and then a little bed of lettuce, and then we sit our burger on top. Okay, so here's our burger. Just going to sit that on top. Hopefully it won't rock off or anything like that. There we go. That's nice and flat. Okay, let's get some more lettuce and tomato. Okay, so put some more lettuce, then another tomato on to help balance it a little bit. And now I've got a little bit more sauce and I'm just brushing that on my lid like this. That should do nicely. And then we just sit it on the top. Hopefully this will hold it. Cha-ching, push it down. And that, my friends, is our burger. Wow. There we are then, folks. I've just changed the angle a little bit so you can see all the layers and I've added my fries there as standard with any amazing burger. There you go, folks, a Western Super Burger. I think Roald Dahl would be proud. Here we go then folks, I'm about to put a skewer through it just to hold it in place. It's massive, uh, absolute amazing value as well. I'm just going to hold it like this, go for it, bite straight through, try and get every layer. Can you see me? Yes you can. Oh, oh my god, I got a little bit of pineapple. That is superb. I'm probably just saying that, right? That is amazing. There's a lot of that pineapple, the beef in there, and that cheeky sauce, oh my goodness. That's good. Western Supertastic. If I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. Put your own twist on it. You know, make it your own. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Welcome to my virgin kitchen. I'm in. Uh, where am I in? 
pineapple. A pineapple ring stuffed inside a beef patty. Uh, yeah. Okay, so with the... Okay, day, so what's happening to the pineapple now? It is going to do... do, do. Okay, day, so with regards to the... It's basically just cooking away now. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, let me take you off the tripod and you can come... Get back on the tripod and uh, we'll shoot this one again. Get off our pineapple, it's going to taste so good. Okay, so our pineapple is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Pineapple is done. Yeah. Start again. Okay, so you got the pineapple rings. We got our funky sauce there, and now we're gonna. And now tastes nicer. Uh, but I went to the supermarket. All good. Don't need to worry about that stuff. But uh, right here then. So our pineapple is all cooled down like that. I don't know why I did that. I just went right here then. It got bowed. Right here then. If you excuse the pun. And just squelching it up, you know, making it feel. I finished flattening out my meat. It's kind, kind of cool actually. Okay, you're gonna bring it down. We're gonna rock, 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 r